The president bounded up the steps of the Lincoln Memorial this weekend, trying to put the best face possible on a spending deal he had admitted was not to his liking. I just want to say real quick that because Congress was able to settle its differences, that's why this place is open today. After weeks of negotiations, Republicans had secured $38 billion in spending cuts from this year's budget, largest annual cuts ever. Within hours of their victory, the GOP was already gearing up for another battle over the nation's debt limit. And I can just tell you this, that there will not be an increase in the debt limit without something really, really big attached to it. Republicans want more long-term cuts in exchange for their vote to raise the debt limit and therefore prevent the government from defaulting on its loans. The limit currently stands at $14.3 trillion, but the Treasury Secretary estimates the U.S. will reach that limit in mid-May. Looking to gain the upper hand in the spending debate, the White House revealed Sunday that the president will unveil his own sweeping deficit reduction proposal this Wednesday. The White House announcement comes just days after Republicans unveiled their budget for 2012 that would slash more than $5 trillion over the next decade. They want to privatize Medicare, cap Medicaid, while reducing taxes for the wealthy from 35 percent to 25 percent.